blood and sorry. My eyes still forgive me for my sins. Oh, let me live like you would have me to live. Praise God, amen. Jesus died, amen. To send the spirit into your heart. Let you truly be a child of God. God said, amen. The Holy Spirit, holy. There are no many ways. Jesus said, I am the door. Not the one door. If I need an angel, enter, he shall be saved. But see, you can't deal with sin. God has life in him, there's no darkness at all. God's light represents righteousness. Stay in the Bible. God is represents sin. Sin cannot inherit the kingdom of God. That's why they're trying to tell you, be not deceived. Oh, my any amen, false prophet. Neither amen, fornicator, adulterer, amen, thief, amen, country person. Sin says, amen. Abusers, or revilers, people that believe in curse and getting your told, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Some say, well, what is a fornication? A faithful, well, what is a fornication? Amen, unlawful sex. Sex without marriage, praise God. God said, nevertheless, no more to fornication. Let every man have his own wife, let every woman own husband. Amen. Not every woman her own woman, or every man his own man. Praise God. When God made him in the beginning, he made Adam and Eve. He didn't make Eve and Alex. Amen. Praise God. He didn't make Amen. Praise God. Adam and Stephen. Amen. Let him know our opposite sexes in God. Amen. Will. Praise God. Marriage is honorable and all. But the whole mom was an adulteress. God's going to see you. Praise God. The Bible says in Revelation 21 and 8. Praise God. Amen. But the fearful and the unbelievers, the pleasing ones, ones that fear, amen, trust God. I can't do without a man. I don't need him to keep me. Amen, great God. Those fearful ones, amen, shall be cast into the lake of life. All abomination, everything that went into the abomination. The word of God tells us in Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Amen, that the woman should not work that must pertain to a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's government. They said that they always didn't mean that. The woman can put on a man's government. But all of a sudden, they put on a dress. Oh, that's still a thing. You understand? Wow. Let a man in the pants and none of the law. Oh, a woman can wrap in his mouth. Well, what about men when he's dressing? That was none of the law. He said, man, he's going to show a man what a woman was coming. Wow. And a man walked in here swiftly with his flat dress on, and everybody would put their hands over their mouth. And, oh, isn't that a shame? He's one of those things. One of those sad ones. Yeah. They're telling really gay, but they're very sad. They're mixed up. Amen. Yeah. But that same scripture yeah. that says, man, a woman should not wear that. What pertains to a man? Yeah. That same scripture that a man shall not, amen, put on a woman's garment. All right. Amen. Yeah. How can you let your preacher tell you, amen, that doesn't stand anymore? Right. Well, why is he standing in the pulpit with a beautiful dress on? Right. A woman's suit. Right. So yet he has you in your pants. Running up and down the street. Going everywhere you go. The devil is a liar. Yes, he is. Amen. Oh, you must say amen and go in the gospel. Yeah. God said, no, you not that your body is the very temple of the Holy Ghost. When you have a God, they say you are not your own. But you are bought with a price. God has the right for God to tell us how he wants us to look. Right. Who made us, we, we made not ourselves. Oh. Help bless his name. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. What scripture say, amen, I was, amen, I'm wonderfully and fearfully made. Yeah. God but no, we will take over so. Right. Amen. We want to do just enough to be enough like the world, but yet still have the anointing. Yeah. But listen, I want all that he has. Amen, praise God. Amen. He said, no, not this world that has already been saved. Amen. He has not given us the spirit of the world, right. but the spirit of holiness and adoption whereby we cry as a father. Amen. He has given us, amen, to be partakers yeah. of his holy nature. Therefore, you want what God wants. Oh, yeah. You love what God loves. Destroy the body, and we speak of destroying the body. 
He is not speaking about total annihilation, but he's speaking about a eternal separation from him spiritually, which is the second death. God bless you. Amen. Repent of sin. Yes. Turn to Jesus. Tell him in your home, I'm sorry for how I live. Amen. Amen. Don't be deceived. Yes. Amen. Sin shall not inherit the king. Right. Amen. Ask him to come into your heart and get up quickly and make it to a holiness church because the old, he has not obeyed anything else. It was the Holy Ghost that established the church in the Acts of the Lord. And I said the Holy Ghost, no other kind of ghost, no other kind of spirit. Amen. And where the Holy Ghost is, there is no church of God. I don't care how beautiful the man is. Amen. Praise God. The Holy Ghost was like that. The Spirit of the living God is styled and grand and deep and simple. I don't care how it won't look, how fine the place is, how, how rich the people are. Amen. If the Holy Ghost is not there, it's not a church. I want you to know the church of God is where I started as a cotton gin. Amen. In Mississippi some years ago. Amen. The Holy Ghost was there. And it's in every state in the, in the United States now. And 50 some states or uh, countries around the world. God doesn't care. Amen. Where you, where, if you sincere, he'll come where you are. Amen. Right there in your room. Praise God. Because the Lord is tired. Tired of the way I'm living. Come into my life. Consider me for my sin. I'm willing to let go of Susan. I'm willing to stop gambling. I'm willing to give up whiskey to help me. Praise God. Amen. Amen. You're coming. Jesus came for that purpose. Yes. Amen. To destroy the works of the devil in your life. To save you from sin. God bless you. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. 